joy, joy. You give me joy, joy down in my soul. You made me whole. You give me joy, 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 joy. John did, I want to lie on your chest Holy Spirit, I can feel your caress Give it all so it's only you left And when we see your works, we know that we're blessed Give it all so it's only you left Work while it's day so I can enter your rest Be holy, for he is holy Dying daily, I'm killing the old me In his hands, let him mold me Law in my heart, can't forget what he told me May I forever reign May is a real blessed name So there's no one like I, yeah No, no, there's no one like I, yeah No, no Be holy, but he is holy Dying daily, I'm killing the old me In his hands, let him mold me Law in my heart, can't forget what he told me May I forever reign May is a real blessed name So there's no one like I, yeah No, no, there's no one like I, yeah No, no To the most high, yeah. I will make a melody in my heart to the most high. Yeah. I will 
I'ma make a melody in my heart to the most high, yeah. All right. It's definitely almost Shabbat Shalom, is it? Yeah. Praise to the most high, yeah. We, uh, he's been supposed to make it. To another weekend, or for the world's sake, another wicked end. Glory to the King. Welcome to the greatest ministry on the face of planet Earth. Hallelujah. Yes. We, have, we have a king. Yes. His name is Jesus. Yes. Yeshua HaMashiach. And uh, we welcome each and every last one of you. Thank you for being here tonight. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm actually, let me see what we got going on here. We got, now, Mother Carol here reminded me, Teacher Shane, that I had said two or three times about I need to do a teaching on the tabernacle. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'll make a determination on the 16 of which one of us going to probably do it. I'll probably get a break anyway. The ninth. That's tomorrow. Wow. Yes, sir. Does sometimes y'all feel like the older you get, the faster time goes? Yes, sir. Jeez. Anyway. So tomorrow. Anyway, we have the Feast of Trumpets that will come up. Matter of fact, it'll start next. Let's say so we don't confuse nobody. Thursday night. The Israelites should be out blowing trumpets. Glory to the king. Man, we we had a and then we got about 10 days from there and then we have the day of atonement. You know these feast days are going to roll around real fast. And uh, of course it, it always behoove you to be smart to not prepare for the feast in the month of September. You should be preparing for it as soon as Pentecost is done. Yes, sir. So that way if you write down on the sheet things that you need to do and stuff like that, are you following me? Then by the time the feast day do come, you'll be ready and prepared. Hallelujah for the feast of the Most High God. All right. Glory to the King. It's good to have each and every last one of you here knowing that I'm going to see a lot of you at the tent of meeting. Uh, which starts that Thursday night, the 28th. Hallelujah. Thursday night, the 28th. Um, I'm actually thinking about purchasing uh, maybe about eight or ten canopies and putting some tables and chairs out there under the canopies and just place them in different locations um, so that you know it can be shielded from the sun and have places of fellowship. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes, Stuff sir. like that. Make try to make it uh, joyful and stuff. Um, I know that most of you may come, and when you come, you may want to come around uh, the building site where the home is being built. By the way, can y'all hear me? Let's, let's go there first real quick because uh, I don't pay attention to that chat room all the time. But I need to know if y'all can hear me or not. But um, I don't want little bitty children down there at that building site because if one of them get a nail through their foot or fall and get hurt or something fall up on them, then you know what they're going to do, right? Blame us. That's what they're going to do. Blame us. So don't let no little children run around. It ain't a, It is not a playground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can get hurt down there. Uh, so don't run around down. We got some professional builders. Our brothers here, they're going to be here. And there, a lot of them are going to be, when they have free time, working in that place. And that'll probably be one of the only breaks if I'm not down there with them. That'll probably be the one of the only breaks that I'll have when I'm not doing the ministry or something like that. You know, I'm usually down there at the building site trying to make, uh, I, when I, when we're doing this building, I try to do videos to um, and explain these videos 
to those of you that own communities and those of you who are going to be building um, so that you will see some of the dynamics is not written in the books. This is just straight up experience that you get on. They call it OJT. OJT means on the job training. And uh, there's a whole bunch of variables in there. It, it just really is. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get over here real quick. All right. Ooh, got a lot of people in here tonight. Looks like it. What is that? Okay. Javon. Javon. Thank you, Pastor Straightway, for all that you do. In Jesus' name, I have been following this ministry for a few years now. 21 years old. How do you discover your spiritual gifts and anointing? Well, first of all, one way you're going to discover your spiritual gifts and anointing is, is if you're around Israel. Uh, because everybody, believe it or not, has some form of a spiritual gift. It's just that they're not mature, spiritually mature, to discern what it is or what it could be. And, of course, a lot of people, um, be they mature or not, some people are afraid to step out on the water for fear that if they do try to exercise a spiritual gift, it may not work. Mm. And that's a lack of faith. Mm. That ain't me. Hallelujah. That ain't Pastor Core either. Now you follow me. Um, when you have a spiritual gift, usually the most high y'all gives you boldness in that gift. I mean, how many people do y'all know? Y'all ever been out when we're away from the hood? Y'all ever been out on meetings when we're away from the hood? Yes, sir. Y'all been out to meetings? Yes, sir. And 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 the first thing, what's the first thing I say as soon as I open up the meeting, as soon as I get there to the meeting, I make a declaration. What's the first thing I say? Kingdom of heaven is at hand. I say the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What I learned it from? I learned it from Messiah. And then you know what happens? Because I'm I'm confident in him. Mm -hmm. But you know what happens? People begin to experience the kingdom of heaven. Oh, and you know what? People can sit there and watch miracle signs and wonders take place, and it still ain't enough to move them off the flesh and the natural man. They'll go right back, act like they meet they never happened, wow. act like they ain't never seen nothing or experienced nothing. At the time, they're all excited. They're all, oh, 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 God, oh, God, hallelujah, oh, oh, oh. What happened to my gift that was there? My case, okay. They all, oh, 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 And then as soon as they leave that meeting, they just like a natural man that behold himself in the mirror. He forget what manner of man that he was. It just, I mean, people just don't take life serious. They don't take life serious. Literally, it's unreal. How do we have our heads stuck up in the clouds? It's literally that unreal. All right, man, my, my internet thing ain't working good over here. Saying that there's quite a few Israelites in here. Let me try to reboot this thing for a second. There we go. But literally, people have their heads stuck up in the clouds. You ever done that before? Be so caught up in your life that you forget about the life? You know where you're supposed to be focused on? Listen. The book says stuff like it's pray without ceasing. Yes. Yes. That means yes. pretty much keep your mind. Yes. And then what does the book say? Oh, Blessed is a man whose mind is staying oh. on Jesus. Yes. Mike the drummer. Uh, bless you, shepherd, and all the leaders and all Israel Shabbat Shalom. Oh, hey, Brother Mike, I'm going to give you an answer right now. No, you can't come to Tabernacles yet. Not yet. You see, Israel as a whole, we take we make lightness in our folly and we make lightness in our rebellion. 
I had somebody some time ago. Um, they said, they said, hey, um, hey, they said, hey, passed out. Didn't you forgive me? I said, yeah, sure did. Okay, so ain't, ain't everything good? Nope. We're still waiting on fruit. Mm. Fruit that meat. The repentance. See, when y'all forgive people and stuff like that about stuff, y'all don't think that there's a just recompense or reward for anything. Y'all do something, and then you say, I'm sorry, and you think that you should automatically be restored back to the former state. Wow. Come on, Chef. That ain't how the book teaches. Right. You got to prove all things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Angela Neighbors. Says Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Has the absolute last day to be listed to come to Tabernacles Pass? Somehow I missed it. And if it's already been announced, well, you probably didn't miss it, but I'll tell you what, I'll make an exception for you. You see, that's called mercy. Oh, mm. So, Angela, you need to call the dining hall and get your name put down to look. So if y'all hear something about Angela Neighbors, N-A-B-O-R-S, um, is asking to come, then by all, by all means, they can come. Hallelujah. It's probably a first time. I ain't never been here. Uh, who knows? But I'm trying to sober us up as a people. Some of us have been around too long to be doing all this foolishness. You know, some of you men, you're grown men. You're leaders of family. Yes, sir. Is that the way you run your family? Oh. How you respond, how you react? Wow. Is that how you lead your family? Wow. In foolishness. Wow. Forgetfulness. Wow. Non-sincere. Wow. See, this is what actually makes this ministry unique from the other ministries because we're not afraid to reprove and rebuke and correct and admonish oh. Oh. because we need that. Yes, sir. yes. We ain't arrived. All of us, we ain't got it. I don't give a damn how young or how old you are. You ain't arrived. No, you ain't arrived. Yes, sir. You still stuck in some of your wicked ways. Yes, sir. You know, the you way. Yes, sir. True. True. How you going to get better? How you going to get better? And that's one reason why people... When they look at his ministry, first thing they do is they make, they don't understand that when I'm using different dynamics, lures, when I'm out preaching or teaching, yes. are you following me? And they yes. see all that passion. Well, I, 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 I do all that. I, I. That is a whole, you know, that is nothing but a test. Oh, you so focus on how oh, I say it, wow. the wow. way I say wow. it, you don't like the way I present it. And never once in all that offense have you ever examined the truth had that has been told. Wow, you missed the mark. Yes, sir. And because you didn't know that there's an offense inside of you, you'll never be able to receive the truth. Because oh, you're too offended to receive the truth. See, unless somebody meet your conditions yeah. and unless somebody come the way See, that you like, wow. And you're even deceived in that and thinking that you would receive them. Wow. The book said you receive a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward. You receive a wise man, you receive a wise man reward. Yeah. But see, the, the problem is you don't receive nobody. You receive what you want to receive and thereby you have deceived yourself. Oh, Did the book tell you to fall on the sword? How would you do it? Oh. How do you do it? How do you cut yourself? Oh. So that it goes to the soul yes, and it brings about a transformation. You don't know because you're too offended. You're too prideful. Jeez. And can't nobody tell you nothing because you are the sum of all wisdom and the epitome of all righteousness Ooh. right in your own eyes. Good, chef. Come Good. on, chef. Yes, Good. Good. Yes, Good. Praise Live God. your whole life. Can't nobody tell you nothing. That's how Will was, prideful, a prideful man, extremely prideful. Pride going before destruction yes, sir. and a haughty spirit before fall. You know how many times I've been accused of pride? But the accusations that come of those who accuse me of pride 
are the ones who are prideful. Wow, that is true. The ones who ain't sacrificed nothing. Yep. They're not living anything. True. They're not keeping the commandments. They're not doing anything Amen. to bring glory to the kingdom. Am I supposed to receive that no. from these type of people? <laughs> When I look into your life, I mean, if your life would rival some form of holiness, then maybe I could consider what you're saying. But when I consider the source where it comes from, how can I receive that? When I look at you and you're sitting here weighed in the balances, halting between two opinions. So you levy a charge and accusation. Is it valid because you say? Mm. Mm. Simply amazing, isn't it? Yes. Simply amazing. Jeez. And that's how we are. That's exactly how we are. Simply amazing. So when the book says bring forth fruit that meet repentance, what does that mean? All right, let me give you a, a natural analogy that you should be able to get. So if you plant a seed, into the ground, depending on what fruit it is. How long does it take to become fully mature? Wow. When it's wow. ready for harvest. Wow. Yes, sir. See y'all, so used to this Christianity way of stuff. Yeah. All this sloppy grace. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you never get better. In America, they want you to go through life without any chastisement. Without any reproof of Christ. They expect you know, they want everybody to cater to you. Hmm? Then they accuse me of a spitting vinegar. I would take that and run with it if you were saying that I'm too salty. Because then I know I'm fitting the, the book just fine. Because oh, yeah. oh, y'all should say you are the salt. Yes. Yes. Oh, the now, when he said you are the salt, what does that mean? Come on, Is he telling you go get some table salt? No. Do y'all know what salt does? No. Salt adds flavor. Yes, no. Wow. We as Israel, we add flavor yes. to the world. Yes. <laughs> Because without Israel in this world, oh, yeah. the world is oh, just blank. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Wow. Good. Come on. But salt also Come on. is needed. Come on. What if you're deficient in salt? Wow. Yeah. Iodine. Yeah. A necessary mineral. Yes, sir. When your body first yes, receives sir. it, man, it doesn't. It, it's just like when you take medicine. There's some bad medicine out there. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? Throw away the medicine because it tastes bad? Ooh. You're not taking the medicine because it tastes bad. Yeah. You're taking the medicine for what it can do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If everybody rejected the medicine because it tastes bad, wouldn't nobody get healed? Come on. Nobody would get delivered. Come on. It's a mindset. The medicine don't care if you don't like the way it tastes. Come on, oh, it's wow. just there to do a job. Yeah. Yeah. Duty? Come on. It's there to heal you. Yeah. Wow. And the medicine don't care if you take it or not. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah. wow. That's why the book, that's why I don't take heed all words that are spoken because Jesus said to me, whether they hear or forbear. It ain't stop me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last time I checked, I'm the teacher here. Yes, sir. Yes. I done sat under tutors. Come on, yes, sir. I done sat under governors. Yes, sir. I done sat under older wise men that was wiser than me at that time. I kept my mouth shut. Yes, sir. Now it's my turn to do the teaching. Hallelujah. Now, what are you going to teach me? Who going to teach Moses? Oh, come on, Shadow. Oh, wow. You got to have somebody older and wiser in order. I got to have somebody older and wiser that's going to teach me. 
Did not Jethro teach Moses? Yes, sir. Yes. Moses, look here, man. Wow. You gonna wear yourself out, man. Wow. Wow. Really? Wow. It's wow. the same Jethro that when he heard of everything that the Most High had done with the children of Israel delivering them, man, he rejoiced. Ooh. Yes. He was like, man, I wish I was there. Oh, just good here in the start. Oh. Then he sat down and watched Moses one day judging the people from morning to evening. He did. He go, man, this ain't good. This is not good, man. You're going to be dead before time. You're really going to be, you're going to go to an early position. So let me tell you what you do, man. You appoint you elders, wise men. And then you let them handle the small matters. You take the weighty matters. Oh, that sound pretty good. <laughs> sure do hearing all this petty stuff. See, can't tell nobody nothing, though. Can't tell them nothing. Listen, your pastor has not lived on this earth for 56 years to be a fool. I've been extremely wise in my endeavors and doings. And even in the places where I have been a fool, I've learned from that to be wise. That's good. That's good. I have not always been in a perfect state. But where I'm at, I'm perfect, and I'm going on to perfection. Hallelujah! I accept the tree of Messiah. Hallelujah! Come on, I do. Yes, I accept it, and I'm glad to accept it because yes, all that it does is make me more righteous, yes. more holy. Yes, it makes so. me just like the King, oh, yes. who I oh. want to be like, yes. and I try to be like, yes. who Ooh. I want to be like. Yes. In every aspect of my life. Yes. Wow. Come on, Chef. Come on. And and think about it. if I'm worried if I'm if I'm worried about being like the king, and I'm just gonna use that word if I'm trying to be like the king, do you think I care what you think? Oh, oh no, 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 bro. This most of you you can't see the king until you see a man live the book in front of you. That's true. Yeah, Jeez. I, I, I don't want to yeah. hear it. Yeah. See, some of you are so prideful, That's man. True. You you act you act like you've been serving the Messiah. The way that we've been serving him over here all of our life, and we've been nothing but helpers in your faith. You can't sit up and take credit your own damn self for where you at. Y'all brought you here yes. so that you can be taught. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Nobody is saying nothing about your experience of salvation. That's corporate across the board. But man, you got to sit down and be taught. Yes. yes. Yep. You have to be guided yes, sir. in this world, in yep. his life. I mean, even the Ethiopian eunuch, when he was reading the book yeah. of Isaiah, yeah. he turned around and and, and 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 Paul went and joined himself to him and he said, Hey man, you understand what you read? Uh how can I? Unless some man got me. So you all you you got the answers. You give you one scripture, you got your answer for every damn thing, and then you look at somebody like me, listen to you. I said up that boy. What a fool. What a fool. Oh, Jesus. What a fool. Why do y'all think all these people out here, all these so-called doctors of theolo theolo theology, and all these so-called, they know we're here. Why don't they ever take up any of our challenges? It's mute. I, you know the reason why? Because they wise enough to look. Look, I can't let my people over here go. hear that. Yeah. Because if they hear that, some of them, yeah, yeah. they're going to leave yeah. and go listen to them. I can't yeah. do that. Yeah. How do I know that? Oh, 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 get that. I got my foot on it. Grab him, man. Yes, sir. You move like palm water. Get that lethargic shit out of you. Yes, so the Messiah, damn, it still ain't down. There we go. So the Messiah, he dealt with the same thing on earth. The scribes and Pharisees didn't give two shits about the people. They didn't give a nickel's worth of rat's ass about the people. The only thing they cared about is their position and their place being usurped or taken by Jesus. Yeah. That's the only thing they cared about. They wanted the notoriety. They liked the phylacteries being blown. They liked to walk among the people and being called rabbi, rabbi. They loved all that shit. They loved all that accolade, all that stuff. A walking testimony, Hebrews 4.12. For the word of Yah is quick and 
and it cuts. Yes. Like a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sun or soul and spirit. And the joints of marrow is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of a man of, of the heart. So I'll tell you what. So listen to me and pay attention what goes on in your spirit and see if you get cut. Because yeah. you don't get cut when you read the word. Woo. The word mm -hmm. is intended. See, remember, the word is from everlasting, everlasting. And when the word became flesh, we were able to hear Elohim Ooh. in the flesh. Yes. And when Elohim was in the flesh and he began wow. to speak Ooh. the word, that's when it had an impact. Ooh. As long as it was on those pages, it didn't do us too good. And then he said, you know what? My prophets came and prophesied. My Messiah came to come and save you. So now I'm going to take that word that was written on parchment and I'm going to write it on your heart. Hallelujah. That's why faith come by hearing. hearing. Nobody gets faith from reading. You get it by hearing. Come on, yes. You can read all you want, and yet you have no application. No proper application whatsoever at all. And so when you go to Jeremiah 3.15, which I quote often, and I would give you pastors, shepherds, according to my heart. And even in that, even if they're pastors, if they're young pastors, they still got to be up under tutors and governors to yes. learn wisdom to go on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just because they're a pastor, that don't mean they pastor thou. That don't mean that. They still are pastors. Yes, sir. They are still pastors. Paul was an apostle, wasn't he? Yes, sir. Did, he, did, he, did, his, did he get anything taken away from his apostleship as an apostle because he had to go to Peter, James, and John no, no, to go and inquire them? No, sir. No, he didn't want to sit there and live by his own mind. Oh, yeah, he cool. wanted wisdom. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, I got this oh. thing somewhat in my yeah. mind right here, but let me go yeah. let me oh, yes. and inquire of yes, those yes. who actually lived, who actually walked, wow. who talked, who ate, and who slept and journeyed and went on with many missionaries with the Messiah. They, no, no, come on, honey. I know I'm a mask of this law. I know, but man, let me go and inquire right here. See? That's the same one. Yes. The same one who did all these boastings in this, all these regions. Oh, yes. Who you will call prideful. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. You don't even know when somebody making that boasting, y'all. Because on, you're prideful. You think somebody Ooh. just like you. Ooh. Yeah. Glory Ooh. to the king. Glory. 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 You getting cut yet? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody ain't like you. So he says, and I will give you shepherds according to my heart. Is that your heart? Your heart is evil. That's the reason yes. why you can't receive his word. Ooh. He told you he's going to give you shepherds. Yeah. That is mentioned in what you call Old and New Testament. Oh, mm -hmm. According to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understand. You know how much knowledge this world got? Do y'all know how much knowledge? Look at this. You know how much yeah. knowledge it took? Yeah, wow. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of knowledge. Yeah, it is. But what good is knowledge if you don't have any understanding? If you don't know how to properly Jesus. assimilate, disseminate, administer truth. How can a young man be wise? Oh. Every young man wants to be wise. Huh? Yes, sir. What does the book say? Take you. Well, I'll sell a young man, cleanse his ways. Yes, By what? Taking he heed to the what? Word. word of God. Okay. So you read the word. No impact. True. So did you get somebody that brings life to the word? Because remember, his word is a living. It's always yeah. alive. Yeah. 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 He brings light to the word and say, and then get what, guess what you do? You reject the wisdom of the word that has been said right in front of you. Ooh, thinking that you rejected man, but you just got finished rejecting oh. y'all. Mm. All that, that man did was just deposit into you what y'all said. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yes. Come on, sir. Yeah. Wow. wow. So wisdom says, son, don't go do that. Oh, I got my own idea. What do you do then? You have to be turned over to your own devices. Wow.
because you're wiser than me. You ain't lived no damn time at all. You ain't been nowhere. You haven't even seen the world. You haven't experienced many different cultures and people or nothing. Only fire you ever been up under is call of duty. You don't know what fear is. Your fear is, is when you hear something going bump in the night, so you sleep with the light on. I'm serious. And you get somebody that care for your soul, and you don't even want to hear a word that they got to say. Nothing can't keep you from yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Corrections and reproofs all the yeah, way <laughs> How do I look? I mean, listen, I'm the head of my house, right? My house. All right? How do I look taking advice from them when I'm the head? What they going to tell me? Does that make any sense? Yes, sir. If they have something they want to talk to me about, I'm a critical listener. I listen very well. I listen extremely well. And if it's something that's seriously considered, I'm still going to make the last choice and decision. The answer is this. Well, uh, uh, no, 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 I don't want to hear that. Ain't none of that. I just spoke. Wow. Jesus. That's it. Come on. I don't want to hear nothing else. Bruh. Now, if I'm wrong, guess who got a better responsibility of that? I do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they ain't going to be the one to correct me. They're not going to be the one to instruct me. Come on. None of them. They have no correction, no instruction for me whatsoever at all. If that was the case, I wouldn't be the head. They would be. Come on. That's the truth. Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. It's the order. Yes, sir. Man, you the head by divine fiat. That's the order. As you go, the house goes. Yes, oh, if the house don't go, then you don't go. They don't go. Hmm. Did I say something wrong? No, I must say something wrong. I must say something wrong. I'm in the business of making men. Real men. And it ain't always kind and sweet and nice making men. Prophetess Sylvania above the clouds. They say, Shalom and blessings to you, Pastor, your ministry and your family. The greatness of Yahweh has much more for you. Continue to release the word of Yah. Those that have ears to hear will hear. Thank you for y'all. We're missing men today that has testosterone. Men that are afraid to lead. That's what we're missing today. Go step out on the water. It's fine. Everybody wants to criticize Peter because he got out of the boat. But you still in the boat. Oh! At least he was willing to try. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. What does that mean? That means if you just trust in y'all, just step out on the water. Yes, Hey, if you even seek, he still got you. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. He got you. Yes, sir. Don't be afraid to fail. Come on. Oh, wow. I said it once, said a thousand times. I failed more times than you tried. Wow. Mm. Wow. Can't tell you how many times I said it over here. That's oh, there's some nice cliches. Cliches, my ass. That's life. That's true life. <laughs> So that's why these charlatans like Geno Jennings, Cleflo Dollar, T.D. Jake, don't make no mistake, they all know about straightway. All of them do. Yeah, but you notice that Captain Kangaroo and, and, and his sidekick, ain't, ain't, they ain't responded yet. They heard what I had to say. They was like, man, that's too much fire right there. Huh? Let them be a fool and answer something like that. I got some more smoke for you. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. We. And why is fire so important? Because once fire touched something, it never remained. 
Yes, sir. In the state yes, Come on. that it was originally in. Mm -hmm. And our Yah is a yes, consuming yes. fire. Yes, That's what you need to let the word do. You need to let the word consume. Yes. Oh, my. Yes. 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 <laughs> Don't be afraid to be transformed. Oh, be oh. 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 That's what fire is. Yeah. That's what fire is. Yes. Don't be afraid to be transformed. Oh. Woo. That's life. Come on, sir. Thank you, y'all. Woo. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to the king. I do know one thing that the most high Yah. Now he did give me a vision a long time ago. I shared it with y'all many, many times. Now I can possibly see it coming to pass. If he if I was stuck in a monogamous mindset, <laughs> you follow me? Yes, sir. I would be thinking Chuck and Liddy. Yes, don't know. I don't and mind you, whenever y'all get speaks to you in a vision or a dream, gives you a vision or a dream. Listen, it ain't always the way you interpret it in this lifetime. And this wow. the way in this life, no, it ain't. So now I got another set oh, of children. Could be the fulfillment. Yes, sir. If it ain't this one, it could be another younger one and then another set. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Don't know. know. Yes, sir. I know one thing. I'm going to live my life in obedience and fear of two y'all. And if you listen to this man of y'all, your life is guaranteed to be blessed. Mm. Yes. And that's without passing an offering plate around. Yes, sir. Mm. Wow. Because mm. your life will never be the same. You wouldn't believe. Look what. See, what you know some of the blessings we don't never count that y'all gives us that, when we that? come this way? Y'all want no type three. <laughs> y'all, this, I mean. We we miss out on the riches of his glory so much that we're so modern and modernistic, but we, we forget the tangible things that have everlasting life with it. We never count our blessings the way that Yah does. Look at what Yah has done when you come this way. He gave you the spirit to be content with less. Yep. Yeah. True. Oh. True. You think you had to keep up with the Joneses, live like the Joneses and all that other oh, stuff and oh. go out and get in debt and all this other. But he give you a spirit of contentment. Yes. Because he knows that godliness with contentment is great gain. He knows that. You just learning that. Yes. You're content yep. with less yes, and sir. not with more. And you never even give thanks. Oh. And in the great things. Oh, see, whoever thinks about that. But see, if y'all give us something monetary. Oh, hallelujah. Now y'all go. Oh, now they go. What you miss out on? Did you miss, did you miss out that once y'all gave you the Holy Spirit, the things you used to fear, you fear no more? You don't count that as a blessing. What in the hell is going on? What's happening today? Why is it that you esteem things of this world greater than the things of the kingdom of God? The kingdom of Yah is in righteousness, joy, and peace in the yes. Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. The fruit of spirit, love, yes. God, peace, long suffering, yes. mercy, cheekness, meekness, gentleness, and such a like. And you never esteem those, but you esteem a car, you esteem a house, you esteem a you esteem this. All this shit is going to perish. And you never give thanks. Thank you, Father, for peace. And then you wonder why when you ask for stuff, you ask to miss. Oh, yeah. Why? So you consume it on your own lust. What's your love? Worldly, oh, earthly, Jesus. sensual, devilish. Come on. It ain't going to make you a better Israelite. Hell no. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Did I say something wrong? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. We don't never think. I mean, why is y'all as good as long as we getting something? Oh, come on, oh, come on. Shit. oh come on. wow, come on, shit. Shit. Yes. That residue. That's it. Oh, I know some of y'all getting upset. It's okay. That's oh, all right. No. Oh, yeah. But I know one thing y'all hearing truth. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. The truth that yes. will deliver yes. Yes. and set free. Yes. Come on. Come on. That I know. Yes, sir. Man. Wow. Y'all, and what y'all ought to be doing is thanking y'all yes. for. Somebody like Pastor Dow that is able to speak yes. and not hold back oh. trying to think about your feelings yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. and your emotions. Oh, yes, sir. Jesus, thank you. Byron Shields, keep bringing that sword, man, and y'all hallelujah. Ain't nothing but the righteous love the sword. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. It's wonderful when you hear the word and it burns you. Oh, oh. Brings you to ashes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Took you from one state to another. Oh. The ashes go back down into yeah. the ground. Yeah. It intermingles with the soil because it comes from the soil. Oh. And then Jesus comes and says, I'm the resurrection and the life. Yes, sir. Are you, preaching? you can be dead. Oh. He but yet, if this man, when he was alive, he believed in me, you would live. Oh, yeah. Somebody, somebody say, Father, change my mind. Change my mind. Oh, my Please mind. change my Ooh. mind. I want to oh, think yes. like this. Yes. 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 I want to oh, live like mind. this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wow. And the thing that is of great value is this transformation of your soul oh. and spirit. To get prepared for the kingdom. Yes. Yes. You can't go in the kingdom when you offended. Mm, come on. Here you are. The most high is working with you, dealing with you through oh, repentance, man. transforming you. Hallelujah. Mind being renewed. Hallelujah. Yes. And you don't you don't think that's valuable? Oh yes. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver. That's why I just sit back and just I shake my head, man. I go, man, that's something to sit, man. Deep. Yeah, oh, Jesus. But then, then people go, well, that's easy for you to say, Pastor. You got the good things on the earth. I do. Where was you at when I didn't have no good things? There you go. Am I not to be, am I not an elder? Yes, am I not a pastor? Yes, sir. Am I not to be counted as a man worthy of double, double. Yes, sir. honor? Yes, sir. Do I not labor yes, sir. in the word? Yes, sir. More abundantly than anybody you ever met in your entire life. Yes, sir. If I've sown unto you spiritual things, is there something wrong with me reaping your cardinal things? No, sir. And some of you ain't getting shit from. And yet you still benefiting. Uh oh. Think about that. And then even at that, the things that I've got. It's still, I have them, but they really ain't all mine. I share them with Israelites that are here on the land. It's just that I make sure I'm a good steward. Yes, because if I was to turn around and let Amara drive that AMG Mercedes, it would look just like that van. My sister, you think I'm going to let her drive that AMG? Hell no, I'm going to have a lot more wiser than that. Yes, sir. Look at him looking. What happened to y'all shout? You know, left y'all something? Why y'all so damn afraid of women? There's something wrong with y'all, man. I ain't no way in hell letting Lamar drive that damn AMG. Amen. Hallelujah. I probably let her drive the Toyota, and I'm going to have to think twice about that one now. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Sorry, some of you, you ain't used to driving good shit. No, you ain't. You lose your mind. As soon as I let people drive the AMG, you know something goes wrong almost every time. Mm. 
They get in there, see all these buttons, and they got to push it. And they push it, and children get in there, burning up motors and everything. Like, oh, they because they like the sound. <laughs> and your ass in <laughs> these damn oh, <laughs> Mercedes, your oh, ass shit. in a Mercedes commercial. <laughs> oh, Riding down the damn, I'm like, come back, call Jack up. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Good steward. Yeah. Try to be a good steward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Speak to that. We're going to segue off of what the sisters talked about last night. <laughs> oh, bless you, sister. Say it above all. I mean, I mean. All praise the most high. Our minor children love your teacher. You know, children do love my man. Children, oh. man, children love Pastor Dow. Oh. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you grown folks. Children. Jesus said, suffer not the little children. And I never suffered them. And man, they, they hear me just like you do. They're sitting right there. True. So what's going on with the children? And what's going on with you? Childlike, come on. Brother Eric, is it, is it kind of yell, 37 one, the hand of Yah was upon me. It carried me. Oh, what are they all doing? Uh-oh. He carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Yeah, we talk about dry bones. That was good. Now you trying to preach or you just sitting there to me. <laughs> you see what I mean? I don't need no help. Yes, Glory to the King. Glory. Glory. I told y'all, man. Y'all ain't uh uh. Mm -mm. Thank you for your offering, though. I, that, I'm gonna use that. But the children, man, that children, they be loving Pastor Dow. They be loving Pastor Dow. I spend time with them too. I don't care where I go. I was just in Georgia this week, right? And them little bitty babies, man, everywhere. Hey, Pastor, hey, but I would stop, sit down, talk with them and stuff. I even was tempted to get down and play the game with them. If I didn't have somewhere to go. I like little children because they got a puritiness about them. Yes, yes, yes. Can't y'all tell I spend time with my son? Yes, sir. Everybody, oh, his guy is just, man, he's just, why he's so intelligent? I wonder why. Oh, he's so intent. I wonder why. Oh, he speaks so well. Oh, I wonder why. Because not only does he have his mother, he has his father, and then he has, he has well, <clears throat> his other mamas. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That little boy surrounded by love yes. and chastisement. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. He's still too. Wow. Is that out of marble? Mm -hmm. I always pouring out you. I always pouring out you. The greatest asset and the greatest wealth that there is on this earth. Yes, sir. Yes. Children. Yes, sir. Children. Yes, sir. Glory to the King. Glory. Glory. So that segues us into murmuring and complaining. Ooh, it's gonna get hot in here tonight. Uh, yeah. I heard that broadcast last night. I didn't hear it last night. I heard it today, and I didn't hear it the way some of you hear. It. I didn't. I heard some good. There ain't no bad. I heard some things that need to be refined. Anybody hear what I said? Yes, sir. Need to be refined because see what happens is we'll talk about myself murmuring, and we'll talk about that in part. That's what Sakina did. But if you heard the broadcast, she also noticed that there are people still here on this land, Mama. She did say that. Mm -hmm. she, I heard it. Are you following? Yes, and then she mentioned about complaining, but she didn't know in her testimony what she learned about murmuring. She was still complaining. Mm -hmm. And y'all people were hearing it. Oh, oh and I'm like, I must... I, Father, it must be time for me to go to the kingdom. It's got to be. 
Oh, I heard a lot of emotion. That's why y'all women can't preach. I don't mind you getting emotion when it comes from the word. Uh oh. Is it getting quiet again? It's getting quiet again. I'm not destroying her testimony. She learned something valuable. I'm, I'm here to bring y'all all a little bit farther. Oh, hallelujah. You was up at the pad today. We was up at work on the building. Do you remember me saying this? Oh, man. I'm so happy Zakina has this. Man, I'm glad she got this. I bet not ever hear her mummer ever again in my life. Did I not say that? Yes, sir. Did I not say that? Yes, no soon as I walked into the tabernacle, Ashley said, I told her. <laughs> Ashley said, I told her. Yes. You better not ever. You, oh, I told her. Oh, you better not ever. Not around here. You better. Oh, wait. We all rejoicing. Yeah. I promise. I'm, rejo I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. Let me hear one damn murmur come out. Ooh, I'm going to blister you. And everyone that heard that broadcast, you getting blistered too that said amen. Come on. The <laughs> you ain't never seen no cutting. I'm bringing out the oriental knives. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody like, now wait a minute, Pastor Dow. Hold damn on. No, you hold on. Go ahead. Anybody ready to learn something? Yes, if you sir. can spell the word learn, type in learn. So that means none of y'all can spell learn because when I say type in three, y'all go three. I say type in seven, y'all go seven. Y'all say seven. When I type in learn, I tell y'all type in learn. Y'all give me y'all not typing. All of a sudden, can't none of y'all spell because ain't nobody said learn. See how hypocrite y'all? I'm better. Huh? I'm better in math. You're better in math. Jesus. <laughs> Y'all don't see the hypocrisy of these people up here in this room doing all this shouting. Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That include you too. You didn't say a damn thing. I, did. I just whispered it. You know, I, oh, you did learn. I didn't hear it. I speak low. I speak low. So you handle now. <laughs> <laughs> and the beat goes on. Yeah, All right. I'm going to approach this, and believe me, she is going to get corrected. A lot of people are going to get corrected, but the sole purpose of me approaching this this way is not for the correction of Sister Zakeem, because I'm glad that she's arrived at a point. Because it takes a lot to, to get to a place to when you finally see yourself and you're not the person who you thought you were, that's a that's past a train wreck. People use train wreck because it's so much steel and iron collide. You understand know what I mean? Yes, sir. I mean, we're talking about stuff that will literally bring about a transformation yes, in your life. Yes, sir. And once you visit that, you have... You're mindful to not ever go back to yes. that place ever again. Yes. I said, once you visit that, yes, you're yes, mindful. Sir. And most of you, yep. you ain't never, you ain't mindful. You ain't visiting shit. Mm. You're afraid to be corrected. You're afraid to be instructed. You're afraid to be transformed. You're afraid of the image of Yah, Yahshua. Oh, you don't want to be like him. You want to keep you. <clears throat> Anybody listening? Yes, yes, sir. I hope y'all listening. Closer to God, ministry. Bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. Glory to the king. You need to come out here and visit me, man. Come on, young man. You need to come out here and visit me. Ah. Woo -wee. Everybody doing all right? Yes, sir. It makes no difference. You still doing all right? Yes, sir. Thank you. You still oh, doing all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, let's get a few things. Let's go to 1 Timothy. 
Let's lay this groundwork here real quick, all right? Love y'all, Israel. I, that's how I know y'all, Israel, man, because if y'all can endure this word, <laughs> y'all have to understand, there is a 100% total different dynamic. When you come over here the straight way and you listen to myself and the ministers True. that are in the straight way, the ministers, when I, when I use the word ministers, I'm using the um, the pastors, the preachers, the teachers, the, the elders. Now, I'm just covering all the bases, all right? Yes, sir. You're looking at a people who done gave up their life a long damn time ago, a long time ago. There's nothing that really shines in this world like the kingdom. Oh, oh my gracious. Now, was not David a man after y'all's own heart? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Did not y'all fill him up full of the riches of his world? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Did he not? Yes, sir. Did he not erase Solomon with the riches of his world? Yes, All the what kind of king are you if you only got one horse? I'm talking to somebody out there. Yeah, I got you. Anyway, never mind. It went. <laughs> it went like it went. Yes, sir. Way over here. Don't worry about. It. Go back to sleep. Yep. You understand what I mean? Yes, sir. If a king is going to be a king, he's going to be a man of authority. So he got to have substance. Yes, sir. The substance don't master him. He masters That's the it. substance. Wow. That's it. That's it. Oh, my Come on. Come on. Why y'all think? Listen. Master. The book says, don't let your own lips praise you. Does it say that? Yes, sir. But let another, yes, am I right? Yes, sir. How many times y'all hear? Elder Rufus, Elder Kabir, Pastor Muir, and, and all these, and Elder Mitch, all of them say, ah, this is crazy. I'm the one that's going to be given to him. But he gives more than us, us all. Y'all never heard that. Yes, sir. Y'all yes, sir. Yep. thinking all oh, preaching, teaching. No, I'm also talking about money, too. Yep. I'm about all of Israel. We got elders in this ministry, man, that they go out and make a lot of money, and the only focus that they have in their life is, is how to advance Israel. I'm just hoping that Israel is not taking advantage of their heart. Now, everything they do, they do it for the kingdom. But you know how niggas are. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know how niggas are nowadays. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Damn ungrateful and unthankful asses. I see it. Huh? They'll sit up here, have businesses, work their fingers to the bone, make them hundreds of thousands of dollars, and be willing to sit up here and put it in your hand to help you grow in the Messiah. And you be saying, oh, bless the Lord! And your wicked ass is staying the same damn way. Hallelujah. See the reason why I'm the man of y'all? Because I, I say stuff that other people are afraid to say. They can't say it. They can't say it. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, sir. We have, if y'all see elders in this ministry, pastors in this ministry, I'm telling you right now, teachers in this ministry, deacons in this ministry, we don't ordain shit. I'm going to say something wrong again. Go ahead. At least if y'all smell shit, y'all will say, that shit stink. Yes, sir. We ordain what God says. Yes, sir. See, the problem is people think, well, you do it because no, no, boy, y'all, y'all don't know us. Y'all really don't know us. I don't know of a pastor, elder, minister, preacher, teacher that had not been on the hot seat. <laughs> Am I right, Teach? Y'all right. think, man, if y'all think that we grade on a curve with us, you really done lost your damn mind. Matter of fact, it's even greater. Yeah, greater. Yeah. The expectation is even the more so. 
Let me tell you something, man. Y'all know a righteous leader. You ain't got a damn thing to worry about. Because they have somebody over them. Yeah. I promise you that will hold them accountable. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. If somebody, I said, if somebody wicked, usually the wicked flee. Usually the wicked flee. Yes, sir. Usually the wicked flee. 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 And let me send a shout out. Bro, Steve, Sister Wendell, man, I'm, we miss y'all so much, man. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we're going to try to come up and visit y'all for sure next year. We may not be able to bring the whole family because we're down there fighting the damn Romans. You know what I mean? Um, but we're going to make sure we try to come and visit y'all next year because we miss y'all. You know the reason why Brother Ugly left the ministry, right? Because he's like the trees. You know, doctor tree is it, right? Yeah, he loved that preeminence, but you ain't got a damn walk that, that damn mount to a hill of beans. Mm. All you got is a bunch of damn words, but your lifestyle, it pales in comparison to my brother Steve and sister Wendell. Mm. And then you go spit around with your ugly ass in front of all these other people, and then you turn around and put this poison into these other people like a viper, and then they slither all the way because they've been bit by your ass, yet they still stand. If you was a leader, why ain't no righteous man or dang you a leader? Teacher Eric, he's a teacher, man. He ain't no leader. He's a teacher. He's there to teach you. But he done got bit by the shit bug. Now he can't teach a damn thing. You people think he teaches you the message. He's reading some books from some other agnostic wicked ass other damn people of philosophy and you think you're getting the word of y'all because he putting candy on your ass rather than the word mm -hmm. yeah. he don't know how to teach then you look at teacher say he he always wear out hebrews where the hell out of here and you don't understand why the hell he always say all oh, he is in hebrews all oh, here what are you come on yeah. wow. dumb asses wow. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, See what I'm talking about? Yes, wow. You can't even damn wow. encourage you wow. in the way because you Ooh. Hebrews, Hebrew, 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 Hebrew. Wow. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm finished. Wow. Wow. I'm finished. Wow. If again, I, like I said, if somebody don't meet your conditions, they can't be. So now you got the seat next to Messiah. Now you got the seat next to Yah. And all of us, we're just ignorant peasants that don't know nothing. That's what we are. Don't give a damn how long we've been late wing shit. Don't know damn thing. Don't know shit. And if y'all don't, hey, look at this ministry right here. What do y'all call preaching? I'm going to tell you what y'all call preaching. <clears throat> I want y'all to turn <clears throat> in the text today to John, the division of the 14th chapter. We're going to read the word of the Messiah. And it says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Yah, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. But I go and prepare a place for you. That wherever I am, there you may be also. Amen. And the way you know. Close the book. And next thing you know, you're on a circus show for the rest of the ride. Yeah. You don't talk about Father's house. Do you remember being in your father's house? Yeah. Y'all got to come with yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, I remember being in Father's house. And do you remember Mama that was in the house? How many times? Mm -hmm. Did you leave the house? Amen. Yes, sir. 
you come back home and you smell something. You knew what the smell was like. And oh, did it smell so good. You knew that mama had went shopping. She just didn't pick up any kind Amen. of apples. Amen. She chose the right ingredient Amen. in my father's house. And man, when the oven was hot, she placed a pie in the oven. Amen. And the oven, it was cooking. Amen. You come out Amen. from the outside. Amen. Now you're in the inside. Amen. You're in the house. Amen. You didn't want to come in the house Amen. because you wanted to stay outside. Yes. Because the fun is outside. Yes. But when you had a taste yes. of mama's apple pie, yes. you said, oh my Lord. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my Savior. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So don't tell me Pastor Dow don't know how to preach yes, sir. what you call preaching. What I call Tom Fool. Yes, yes. Felice and a flock of yes, y'all. <laughs> You forgot about the whole damn message. Yeah. yeah. And the message centered on mama's apple pie. Yeah. The crust was flaky. Yeah. You could taste the butter within. Yeah. <laughs> Smoother. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Than the honey and a honeycomb. Yeah. Five loaves yeah. and two fishes. Yeah. Shh, man. <laughs> All I need is a Negro on a ham and be five. We done. We done. And then we get finished. What was the word? Oh. And ain't nobody, nobody has any recollection or memory whatsoever at all that we started in the text from John the 14th chapter. That's true. That's out. You've been fleeced and run amok. Yes. You've been bamboozled. Yep. No, for real. True. And you thought you've been the damn church, mm. but you ain't the ecclesia. Woo. Now we preach. Oh, yeah. we, we, we. <laughs> now we preach. You ain't the set apart. Who? Of Yah, <laughs> you ain't the ones oh, yeah. that have been called out, <laughs> called out of darkness <laughs> into his marvelous <laughs> light. Yeah. Somebody said, I see Jesus, I see he Jesus. is high and lifted up, yeah. and his train yeah. it do it fills the temple. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's real preaching, <laughs> damn hypocrites. Then you wonder why, why pass down preach like that. Oh, mercy me. You mean, why don't you look for a price of a mission of a dollar, you're tired, mm -hmm. to be entertained mm -hmm. once yeah. a week? Yeah. yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They have fleeced the flock of y'all. Yeah. That's what they've done. Damn hypocrites, you damn hypocritical mockers and liars. Ooh. And that's the reason why they hate Pastor Dow. Because we don't go along with your bullshit. These are men and women's souls Come on, yeah. who Yahshua gave his life yeah, for. Yes, sir, and then yeah. he entrusted his word into us as ambassadors yes, of the sir, kingdom yeah. of heaven yes, to disseminate this work the right way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all better thank the Father. That we don't own great masses of land and we have our own government set up. Because y'all won't be getting no three squares and a cot. Mm. You'll be getting stoning. Because mm. we'll get the best 
granite stone from the rock of quarries we can get, and you'll be hit with the first one. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Raider Nation, 50 bucks. Nothing said. Just give me, just get this. Let me just put 50 out there. Yeah. And I know, y'all you know, I don't never say how much they donate. It's right there. But man, he's like, man, this is real stuff right here. Huh? That's the reason why a lot of you could never get with Christianity because all them damn faggot look. Hold on. Hold on. Did I say oop word? All them faggot homosexual preachers up there. So since when did faggot become a, a bad word when it was a cigarette in the 50s and 60s? I don't know. So much for freedom of speech, huh? Yes, sir. Y'all getting this though, right? Yes, sir. Everybody hearing this? Yes, sir. The word queer is more acceptable than a cigarette. We don't lost our damn mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have for real lost our mind. First Timotheus chapter six, right? Start at verse two. Come on with it. Y'all ready, Israel? We rolling. Thank you, babe. And they. So y'all hey, wait a minute for a second. So don't tell me. Do y'all know? I told y'all about what happened. Did I ever tell y'all about what happened to me one night? Hmm? I had a demon visit me in the bed sleep. Mother Carol laying right next to me, too. Saw the figure right in front of me. You know what that book is saying? Just lighten up the message. I'll make you a great preacher. Wow. In other words, all you got to do is compromise. Wow. If I would have took that, I would have been the greatest preacher that Nashville, Tennessee has ever saw. Notice they said the greatest. I'm still the greatest preacher they ever saw. Yes. I just ain't took the, I ain't bit of the fruit of life. Yes, Let's water down the message. Go ahead and go along to get along. I'd have been more popular. Think about this. T.D. Jakes is, is popular. Yes. Joe Osteen is popular. I could have been done running circles around him a thousand times over. All I had to do was bite of the fruit of life. Um, you know what I said? Go to hell. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> and I went back to sleep. I went back to sleep. How many times you heard that story? Go to live in hell because that's where your ass, your destination is going. You're going to burn. You're going to burn your ass off. You hear what I'm saying? I ain't for sale because I've already been bought. Oh, mm -hmm. come on. Come on. Somebody say, y'all better take some notice. Come on, sir. Yeah, 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 come on. Let me real. Real. slip, man. Yeah. Real. Come on. You can't be for sale when you've been bought. Come on, Chef. Come on. I buy the truth and I sell it not. Hallelujah. So if you're going to be a true Israelite, this is what your hands is going to look like. This is what your hands gonna look like for the rest of your life. You just gonna have nothing but rough at it. You gonna have no what? What that uh, 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 commercial teacher saying? Pop Malif, Pop Malif. If they have soft ass hands, we was up there building on the house the other day, man. Me and teacher was framing up the interior walls. That damn nail did he hit a knot or something? Whatever did he? It took a curve though, did it? It took a damn curve. Bam! His teacher had Shane's hand. Next thing you know, blood is flowing like a, a fountain on that concrete. He just went and found a, a old rag and put it on there. And, but that blood was pouring too. What did it teach? That blood was coming out like water. Ching! On them nail guns. Ching! I'm like, yeah, yeah. got him. Because he hit something. Isn't it curved pop? But the blood said, Yeah, I've had about 300 of them. <laughs> And he looked like he had 300. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I love my brother here in Straightway, man. No, bro, Shane didn't go to the ER. He straight set up and just put a damn rag around it, put a little tape around it, and just kept on working. Then he went from there and jumped right on down the hot ass lawnmower. Is that right? Did you jump on lawnmower today? He just kept on going. 
Yeah. Is it healed up yet? Oh, yeah. All, it's all healed up and gone now. And people think you can just be, hey, you don't ever know what them down. You better put your hands in the right place. And sometimes you can put your hands in the right place. That thing may hit something, pew, hit the other way, man. That's just the sacrifice you're willing to take. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But that blow was flowing like a river up there, boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that blow was coming out. Yeah. Them nails ain't no joke. Ah, anyway, let's rock with it. Come on, man. Come on, Jesus, rock. We got to get rolling, man. And they that have believed in masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren. So now the word masters mean if you have a husband, one that is an absolute ruler. You understand what I mean? That could be a husband, head of assembly. Authority figures. They don't believe in masters. Read on. Because they are brethren. Because, wait a minute. They may be masters, but they're still brethren. But they still brethren. But they still brethren. Read on. But rather to them service. Wait, 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 wait. So, last time that I checked, if you have someone that is a believing master, that means they have more wisdom than you do. You need to do them service because that's going to be to your benefit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mind you, you don't want this charge to know them that labor among you. you, you you're charged for that. That needs to be a track record there. Read on. Because they are faithful because and beloved. They are faithful and what? Beloved. Read on. Partakers of the benefit. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. They're already. Faithful and blood, and they're already particulars of the benefit. And then he says this: Watch this. These things. What do you teach do? You get, whoa, 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 whoa. These things you do what? Teach. Oh, whoa, whoa. And so why don't we ever have a, a, with all this talking and all y'all ministers do? Why don't we teach this? Why don't we avoid this? It is also pride to avoid the things that will exalt a righteous man. Wow. Read on. If any man teach otherwise, if anybody teach anything contrary other than this, and consent not to wholesome words, come on, even the words of our master Jesus, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. Now, even to nail this one, though, watch it. He is what? He is proud. And he what? He knows nothing. And what does he do? But doting about questions and Strikes the words where comes envy, strife, railings, evil, surmising. Do y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So as soon as as, as you put truth out there, and immediately people got a bunch of questions. Wow. You already know what man of spirit they are. Wow. Listen, when you have the spirit of truth, you hear truth, man, it resonates with yes, you. You know, yep. man, the first thing you do is you start being quiet and meditate. Cause you ain't never had no understanding. Now you got to understand. Now you like you have studied to be quiet. Mm -hmm. But these books, I got a question. I got a question. I got a wow. question. I know the reason why your ignorant ass got a question. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. Come on. You see what I mean? Yes, sir. There's a spirit inside of you. You don't really want to know the truth. Right. You just want to doubt about with words and questions and bringing strife and wow. what for come of what envy. Strife and evil surmises and what else? Railings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. So whose minds corrupt men? And what are they? They destitute of the truth. Now let's stop for a second. We've all had a train work for truth, right? Yes, sir. We didn't know no scriptures, but we knew truth. Yes. When we heard, oh, y'all yeah. don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Oh, yeah. I remember when I see the Holy Spirit. I didn't know no truth. Yeah. All I knew was John three sixteen. Yeah. But man, when I had the Spirit of Truth in me, man, when I heard truth, it was over. It, it was, was game over. game over. I, I didn't have to know right. nothing. I had the Spirit of Truth yeah. inside of me. Yeah. Uh uh. uh, -uh. Yeah. Tuned in, oh. locked in. Yes. Come on. Supposing the gain is godliness. And that the world, the more richer you are, the greater you are. Wow. 
Watch his world. Does not Warren Buffett get a platform everywhere he go? Mm-hmm. What about Bill Gates? Yes, sir. Jeff Bezos? Yes, sir. What about the poor man oh. that may not have nothing, but he got a whole lot of Jesus? Oh, Who will give him a platform? Wow. Who's wow. going to give him a platform? Wow. All right, let, let's put over to the religious side. Would TDJs get a platform? Yes, sir. We'd yes, be sir. able to go visit the president. Yes, sir. The Pope. Yes, sir. Governors. Yes, sir. Will he? Mm-hmm. Or Benny Hill. Yes, sir. Huh? Mm-hmm. Joyce Meyer. Mm-hmm. And Jezebel. Yep. Huh? Would they not get a front row seat? Yes, sir. Huh? What about us poor? What about what about old Pastor Dow? Would they give me a front row seat? No, sir. Mm-hmm. Would I be invited? Nope. I can't be a dignitary? Ambassador of the kingdom, represent the kingdom. Hell no, y'all get it? Yes, sir. Come on, damn sure ain't past the mirror. They see his ass up walking in. They say, Oh, hell no, <laughs> they'll look at Elder Rob and say, Oh, hell no, we remember your ass on the field. You may, you may turn around and go maniac on us. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking, come here. Oh, I hear that you sound like a polished guy, but we see your spirit. You an angry man. Yeah. These, this word, you can't win with them. No. Read on. From such, withdraw yourself. No, no. Uh, stay in lockstep. Withdraw. withdraw. Uh, keep company. Withdraw. withdraw. Fellowship. Withdraw. withdraw. Be neighbors. Withdraw. withdraw. You're my friend. Withdraw. withdraw. So here we are, another scripture. Tell you to get away yes. from the week. There you go. Yes. Yes. Hey, come on. Yes. Jesus. Bro. Everywhere you go. Yes, if you, it's, it's, That's everywhere good. you go. Yes. That's good. Read on, teach. But godliness with contentment mm. is great gain. Oh, we'll be right man. back here in a moment. Brother Israel, go ahead and give us a break here, man. Put out some information, man. We'll be right back here in a moment. Man. They don't believe the word, man. Shalom, shalom, family. Please visit Shalom, shalom, fa- shalom, shalom, family. Please visit www.straightwaynetwork.com for up-to-date information about the feast. Do you have easy access? Just click the feast banner at the top of the homepage. Visit the website to get all feast schedules, updates, and information. Saints, this website will be updated as changes are made, even during the feast. For the saints that are coming, please be mindful that viruses are on the rise around this time of year. While we all trust in the Most High for our health and healing, He has also blessed us with herbs of the field and righteous leadership that promotes taking them. Please go to www.householdherbs.com and stock up on antiviral tincture. We suggest taking maintenance doses starting two weeks prior to the feast, during the feast, and after. Let's make this an enjoyable feast for everyone. Join Patreon with Pastor Dow to get all the unfiltered truth. If you like what you see, support the work of the ministry using Cash App or PayPal. Be sure to tune into Block Talk Radio with Pastor Dow. Be sure to tune into the Shabbat message with Pastor Dow.
If you would like to stay up to date with the ministry, head over to straightwaynetwork.com. Join Patreon with Pastor Dow to get all the unfiltered truth. If you like what you see, support the work of the ministry using Cash App or PayPal. Be sure to tune into Block Talk Radio with Pastor Dow. Be sure to tune into the Shabbat message with Pastor Dow. If you would like to stay up to date with the ministry, head over to straightwaynetwork.com. Join Patreon with Pastor Dow to get all the unfiltered truth. All right, we are back. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Hope everybody's enjoying. Truth is, it makes no difference if you enjoy it or not. It's truth. And if you're righteous, you're enjoying it anyway. Glory to the King. How about that? See, that's what I'm talking about. Is that the way it go? When I look at Yah's Torah, his law, and I literally see the place that a righteous woman can be in, I actually envy it at times. Y'all remember me sitting up there saying, Okay, I, I'm, you know, hey, we, we understand biblical marriage, right? And all this other stuff. And man, then one day I'll go, man, what is in it for us? Look like they went in all here. What is. Y'all never remember me yeah, talking about yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all probably didn't understand the comment time, man, but I had been immersed. I'm like, man, Father. Wow. You understand? Mm -hmm. But then I comprehend and understood it. As long as we are in Messiah, under his umbrella and protection, we're just like the woman. Yes. We got we, yes. we don't, yes. we don't yes. have nothing. Oh, yes. It's up to him oh, to provide. Yes. yes it's up to him to cover. Yes, sir. Oh. It's up to him. Let me feel that Holy Spirit. That's my conjugal right. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. Hey, hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. All I got to do is obey. Yes. That's, yes. that's it. I'm good. I understood it. I was like, oh, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh. Deep down. That's and that's then I good. thought, I said, yeah, but he's the one that got to lose his life, though. Ooh. He's the one that has to lose his life yes, in order for us to have life. Yes, wow. yeah. That's the reason why I can't, I can't deal with no rebellious woman. I can't do it, man. Hallelujah. I can't deal with no ungratefulness, unthankfulness after all this many years of labor. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I just yes, can't sir. do it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because somebody out there, somebody, mm -hmm. when they look at this old geezer, like, hey, come on, go ahead. This go old ahead. specimen of man. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Somebody out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, Probably young or old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I've met a man. Yeah. What a man. I submit. I submit. Yeah. I submit. Yeah. 
All right, let me get back over here. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So we read a little bit of Timothy, right? Yes, sir. The broadcast was about Nita Mama. Yes. yes. Oka Blaine, right? Yes, sir. And I heard my precious sister Zakima, right? And I, I want to say this, man. And I'm going to paint this picture from a leader's perspective. Anybody heard what I said? Yes, sir. I said yes, sir. from a what? Leader's, leader's perspective. perspective. And I'm gonna paint this picture so that most of you pe you people out there, especially some of you people out there that don't know, so that you don't be deceived by any stretch of an imagination. All right. I've been in ministry for 30 years. We have been on this community 25 years. Straightway was started before we had the community. Yes, sir. That's true. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And um, in this ministry, we have people that have, watch this, I'm going to show you how the people are winning. We have people in the ministry That have, they live in brand new homes on this land since being in this ministry. You don't live in a brand new home. No, sir. He been he been with my right hand man from the beginning. I ain't lived in a brand new home. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. I said brand new homes. Mm -hmm. Buildings where no man or woman has ever dwelt. It was built by the hands of this ministry. You listen. And I'm not saying they're not deserving of it. Because that's our reasonable service to do that for Israelites, say for Israelites. Is it all right? Right now, as it stands, Teacher Shane, he's single man. A single man, it don't take all that much for a brother, does it? True. Okay. No. Man, I go down to Straightway, Georgia, been there, and I get this little bitty trailer, little travel trailer. It's a little travel trailer. You can hook it up to the back of a pickup. I go there, man, and have some of the most restful and peaceful nights. Them old days. If it rains, you can hear the raindrops hit that ten, and you just uh, you righteously convulse. <laughs> ah, just love that place. Are you following? Never once have I ever complained, or has he ever complained? Of not having our own home built. Mind you, I'm living in a place right now where I laid the, the majority of the blocks. Brother and helped me frame up the insides and stuff. Are you following me? But this used to be the fellowship hall. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. We got people in the ministry that while they are testifying of being delivered and they have something one way, for instance, like, I'm going to show you what y'all has shown me about murmuring. And they've been showed. I'm not taking it away from them. They have been showed. And the same people testify that when they are here on the land, they hear people who live here on this land complaining. Did y'all hear what I said? Go back and listen to Sister Sister. You're never going to hear a complaint out of Sister Ashley now. 
Uh, no, you ain't going to hear it. It ain't going to happen. She met her Waterloo years ago. She said, you will never see this woman ever again. And I've never seen her. You seen the T? No, I ain't never seen her since. I ain't never. Hallelujah. My daughter has been true. What daughter? Well, I know you wasn't around. I know. I, I get it. I get it. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. There are people that live at straightway and still murmur about certain things being here. There was a day living on his land that every family and single brother, we only got $20 a month. Did somebody say $20? $20. Everything went into the infrastructure and building, did it not? Um, tell them to tell you the truth how much they get a month now. Y'all hear me, right? Yes, sir. Mind you, um, if you already, if you are getting $500 average a month and you don't have no rent, no mortgage, no light bill, no food bill, mm. no phone bill, no insurance. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. So I'm not going to let somebody else paint the picture. I'm going to paint the picture. Yes. We're coming from a leader's perspective. Leader's perspective. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Tell me where you got something to murmur. When y'all first came here, I only had a trailer to put y'all in. Y'all live. You, mama, your mama. You and, and, and Gabriel, y'all live like we live in the very beginning. Mama Nelly never murmured one day in her life. I talked that up as her being reared and raised in Puerto Rico. She would clean that house like she was cleaning a wall off a story. I told her, I said, I'm going to build you a house. Come on, when you're telling women stuff like that, what are they? Ah, oh, that's good. They just happy to be with you. It was a, it was a, it's not mom happy to be with. You. They're just happy to be with. You. Did we not build a home? Yes, you helped on. Yes, mom love at home too, don't she? <clears throat> Anybody ever dwell there before? No. That was a brand new home. Where else could she go? And be married to a man and get a brand new home built for her. And she didn't have to sign no contract. Oh, yeah. She didn't have to go out to no job. She didn't have to nothing. She had to pay no 20, 30, 40 year old mortgage. Hmm? That's it. Crazy. Three bedrooms, two baths, fully operational. Am I telling the truth? Matter of fact, you still come and you sleep over on the weekends, don't you? Oh, yeah. Nice house. You miss your old home? Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all here? Yes, sir. And I had myself and all the Israelites and the boys to help build that home. Y'all follow me? Yes, you don't think she's grateful? You don't think she's thankful? Out in the world, you got to struggle to make the means meet. You ain't got to do that here in Israel. Praise mm. Yah. Hallelujah. Y'all hear me? Yes. yes. Sir. All right here. Yeah, yeah right. damn it. I'm taking this slow on purpose. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and I promise you, we got homes on this land. Am I right, Teach? We got them. And we still have people here that live here on this land that are still pissing in buckets. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody laughing no more, though. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Ooh, wait, boy, ain't this good. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Yep. Yes, sir. I mean, people have literally given up their livelihood. 
these brothers would go to work and they would gladly go cast their checks and bring every single bit of it to the ministry yes. and get back just enough to get gas to go to work. Yes. Would have food prepared for them by the sisters. Oh, shit. oh. But y'all asses out there, you can't give up shit. Mm. And you wonder why we are straightway is with it. I got enough sense to see. I love Sisters the King. I do. I got enough sense to see. I seen that shit show. The husband she married to. I seen him have digressions. Y'all remember how I got on his ass? Y'all don't remember how I got on his ass. Y'all don't remember. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hustling in down the street, bought that same damn hustle over here. Caught your ass. I heard on a broadcast the other night said, Hey, hey, um, I, I thought about asking for a raise. Y did y'all hear the broadcast? Mm -hmm. Who heard it? The only you? She said, On the broadcast, I thought about asking for a raise. As soon as I heard it on the broadcast, you know what I said? Do y'all know what I said? What's that, Chef? What I said to my Ishias, my Ishas in here. I said, she can ask for a raise. She can raise herself up on up out of here. Mm, no. uh, y'all hear me? Yes, sir. I said, she can raise herself up on out of here. Yes, sir. You know why? Because when she was working for Walmart, she was probably bringing home $650 every two weeks, tax taken out and every damn thing else taken out. Yep. Somebody say amen. amen. So let's just give the benefit of that. Let's say $650 every two weeks you bring it home. What's $650 plus two, $650? Well, 1300 $1, Y'all slope it. Y'all got this math, right? Yes, How much is that? Yes, and you working around a damn heathen every day. Yes, I would go, and the very few times I would go in a Walmart, I would see an Israel right now, man, it would prick me in my heart. Oh, yes, what the shit? It ain't my job to take care of another man's household. It ain't my job to take care of another man's household. I'll say it again. It's not my job to take care of another man's household. I'm walking down the street one day, right here on the streetway. Some of this guy next to me is Keena right there. I had to get my map and everything together. This sister now makes $500 a week tax-free. Somebody say that. $500 a week, tax free. $650, is what? $2,000 from $1,300 is what? You got a $700 pay raise. Yep. And you don't have to work with the heathen. Yeah. You're right here on this yeah. land. Yeah. Yeah. $700. Wait a minute. And I heard, I want a pay raise. A spirit said to her, something said to him. I'm like, you ain't, I, I'm going to give you a pay raise. Because mind you, what I did was I actually, all our sisters are doing well. They got a cook schedule. They cooking everything. Like, we really don't need Zakina to cook for us. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. See, y'all don't get to hear all this. Y'all get to hear all the emotion and everybody getting stirred up. Well, uh, you come to the community, uh, you get people dressed like damn vagabonds, looking like vagabonds, big assholes in their shoes and stuff. Who preaching now? How you do that living on this community when you average every single month between Five hundred and fifteen hundred dollars a month in your damn pocket, and you ain't got to pay shit. My son, brother Scott, 
you'll never hear another murmur or complaining ever out of him. He got four children. Still lives in that old place we call the school when I was up there. He's going to be living here on this place. As soon as I move out of here, Brother Scott's going to be living here. You hear me? Never murmur complain. But guess what? There's nobody in the ministry that contributes more to my vacation fund than he does. Nobody. Y'all hearing the leader's perspective now. Yes, sir. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. My son, brother Britt, man, he will give every damn thing that he got plus the shirt off his back, shoes off his feet, and the dirt underneath his toenails to make sure that the man of y'all is taken care of. Him and his wife, too. And they contribute a lot. Are you following me? Remodel the whole home. Put I, I, I was thinking about who the hell can I put? I can't put nobody up there to the front of the land more sober than Brent. Can anybody can, can anybody tell me who else I can put up there? Can anybody tell me I can put up there more sober, more keen, more faster than Brother Brent at the front of the land? Anybody? Brother Brent. You can't answer. Because you, know, you don't know a news, you can't answer truth. And I'm talking about. A young man I've known since he was 18 years old. When I went, had a meeting in Tampa, Florida. I met him when he was extremely young. That brother's been faithful to y'all, faithful to this ministry. Are you him? Yes, sir. Who talking now? So you come to this place right here. And you see people running around looking like a bunch of bound vagabonds. You need to ask yourself, what the hell are they spending their money on? Everybody ain't responsible with money. So my sister said, I, I was thinking about a well pay raise. Probably was a spirit because she probably admitted that, right? I mean, that. so watch this. I'm like, damn, you already got a $700 pay raise. You ain't even got to see the damn heathen. But yet you out here on this land with Israelites every day. And that's not including, Zakina works hard for the ministry. That's not including many bonuses throughout the year. Sometimes ask her. I will come up to her or a, I will give it to my side, my Isha's, and they will give it to her. And there will be an envelope with a thousand dollars in it, just because of her labor of love. Wow. That ain't because of nothing that her damn husband did, because he ain't did shit, not for this ministry. Ray ain't done shit for this ministry. And I'm gonna say it again: I'm not responsible for for sustaining your house, man. Any man. Yes, sir. Uh, leadership is talking now. Yes, sir. Now you get to hear the Paul Harvey rest of the story. I can't sit up there and let somebody paint a damn picture as if they're lacking. What are you lacking at? You lacking for your own choices and decisions. If anybody on straightway is murmuring and complaining, they're lacking for their own choices and decisions. You can take your money and spend it on some wise stuff rather than spend on some damn foolishness. Ain't nobody lacking on straight. I promise you they ain't. <clears throat> so what people do, they'll get out here and they'll testify about murmuring, complaining, and what God's delivered them from, but they're still a complaining and murmuring. As if they're lacking. Then I turn around and they'll look at me. Who, I might add, you wasn't here from the beginning. I made sure that everybody else had a home before my family had a home. Am I telling the truth, teach? 
I made sure that everybody had a debt before my family had a debt. I made sure everybody else was taken care of and I got the least and the last of all things. You wasn't here, so you don't understand the sure. testimony. You wasn't here. Come on, I, mean. I hate to see what it's going to be like when I finish my home. Finally, after 30 years of ministry, 25 years of labor, and mind you, I'm still building on my home. I got faithful brothers that come in and gladly give them their sweat equity. I would hate to hear what the damn heathen would have to say, be it in the world or even in Israel. I would hate to hear what, what the hell are they going to say when my home is finished. They're going to murmur then, complain then. What block have you laid when it was 28 degrees outside? What sacrifice have you given? What have you done? You see what I mean? Where were you at when Elder Doug was out in the deer stand and he was the only hunter at that time bringing in venison for the land to make sure we had meat throughout the winter? By myself. And not only that, but builder. I got pictures of myself and Elder Doug on top of a roof, framing roofs. Elder Doug is the one who taught me how to square a roof in a building. Are y'all following me? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Is that making sense? Yes, I literally cannot hear you in your murmuring and complaint. I have made it so easy for these mothers on this land that literally all they have to do is teach their children and mother and garden. Am I right? I've hired people, Israelites, to get them off the job to come here so they won't have to be on their job around these damn bastardizationized heathens so they can stay holy and sanctified. You don't never get to hear that story. You never hear that story. Mm. But some of the Israelites just plain right out spend their money on the wrong things. Are y'all hear me? Yes, so then they turn around and watch my household. And they don't know how just I am. Now, let's just put this thing. Let, let's break this thing down in a monarchy. Is, is that good? I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. If I'm a king, am I supposed to have one horse? If it wasn't for me saving money, we wouldn't have shit on this land. The way that these saints like spending, we wouldn't have a damn thing. We would have shit on this land in escrow for the generations coming behind us if it wasn't for me managing the money, the resources, and the funds. Am I making any sense? Yes, sir. Every single time an Israelite family or brother or sister, if they have to leave this land and go on a trip to another community or to go see that natural family that's in good standing, every single time, they get the best vehicle we got. They get a credit card. They have cell phones. Uh, and a pocket full of money and have nothing to worry about. Did y'all hear what I said? Yes, if they go anywhere on any kind of trip whatsoever, at zero, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. So if they want to paint a picture that straightway is not just or we're not doing things what you call the so-called uh, what they call the right way or they're lacking. If they're lacking, it's because they own damn lust. Because you look at some of these damn people rather than spending the money on what they need to necessary 
They spin on their fat ass. They spread their ass out. And like I said before, if some fat come on your ass, it's probably because I contributed to it. But you misappropriated the funds. Now, it's man talk, damn it. Yes, sir. Y'all hear me, Israel? Yes, sir. This man talk, this real man talk. So if y'all see people on straightway that's lacking in personal hygiene, that's their own damn fault. Because we got plenty of damn water. We have plenty of resources. I promise you, we not lacking for shit at straightway. Y'all don't get y'all never hear this in all these testimonies. Do y'all ever hear this in all these testimonies? Y'all never hear none of this in all these testimonies. And I can say of myself personally, there's not another man on this earth that has labored more than I have. Not only with my own hands, but in labor more abundantly than y'all. Show me another man. Show me another. There's labor more than I have. Both naturally and spiritually. And you're going to complain. You're going to murmur. Am I here to make sure that your ass live? Oh, it's quiet in there now, ain't it? Now it's time for the leader to speak. Hallelujah. So we hear all these broadcasts, emotions are being stirred, everything is up high and all that. All that. Don't give me shit. I want to hear that shit in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Does that make sense? Any of this making any sense? Yes, sir. Yes. There need to be some damn gratefulness going on with us. That's what he see. So tell me how we any different right now, today, if the most high y'all was to send us into the wilderness. Tell me how we any different. Somebody talk to me. And mind you. Nobody at straightway is forced or compelled to stay here on this land. If it's so damn bad, you have this whole world, you got all this option. That ain't our problem. You know what our problem is? People want to be on the land. And I'm going to say what I've always said. Hey, we may have places being prepared for the people, but are the people prepared for the places? Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. So our precious sister Zakina is making $700 more a month than what she had. If, if they're lacking in any way, shape, fashion, form in the household, it ain't because of me. It's because that man ain't doing his damn job. There's some damn foolishness that the hell is going on. It ain't because of me because I'm the one that volunteered that job because I saw a need. Yes. And I volunteered it. Our sisters are more than capable yeah. of going and cooking and dining. They've been doing it for 20-something years. Yeah. We don't need Zakina to be here to cook for us. We don't need it. Our sisters don't need it. They can still handle everything. That is a mercy. Yes. That is a grace. Yes. And then I look out and see your labor of love, and I would give the mother girl, give us a kid of this. Ask her when you see her if she's not received $500 or $1,000 just because she served just only at the feast. Four, three, four days of service. See what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. 
That's why I say I'm not responsible for your livelihood. Your husband is. All of you that are women that are married to men. In this ministry, if you become, if you're a community, your offering should be coming here. At the hub here at Straightway. If I have sown unto you natural things, cardinal things. Is that what it says? Hell no. Spiritual things. And you ain't getting no more spirituality nowhere else on this earth than right here straightway. Tell me I'm wrong. I will be glad to test every damn boast of every dissenter in this world. Because I already know who I am. I know who y'all are. That's the reason why these per these perverse disputers, they don't want none of this smoke. Because we we expose every single one of them. Well, what did Paul say? Let me find that. Let me find this word that Paul has said in here real quick. Paul said a lot, right? Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 9. Everybody doing all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody still, y'all still got the Holy Spirit? Oh, yes, oh okay. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to find out then. All right, mm -hmm. Y'all wouldn't believe how long I'd be sitting back keeping my mouth silent while all this shit going. Let me tell y'all another big problem is going on in Israel. You men, y'all better listen to me. Y'all better listen to me good. Y'all give too much damn liberty of your women to get abroad. Y'all give way too much liberty of your women to gather abroad. They speak amongst themselves and stuff, and they surmise to try to figure out how to spit in your ear. Yeah. And sometimes you think you're talking to your wife, you're talking to another man's woman. Now put them damn wicked ass thoughts wow. in her head and stuff, and they're manipulating you because you're too damn stupid and dumb and got a lick of discernment. Y'all still here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Hope y'all y'all still got a nut set. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. You need balls yes, to yes, make children. Yes, sir. Anybody can have a pipe, but you need balls. Yes, sir. You in this, son? Yes, sir. And you need to let them hang. Mm -hmm. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my brother. I'm telling y'all, man, with what we getting ready to face in this end time right here. Listen, listen, my brother. I'm gonna tell you all y'all need to really listen to me on this. You cannot be afraid to live. And you cannot be afraid to die. Oh, yeah. But Israel is going to need sons. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. You cannot be afraid to live. And you cannot be afraid to die. Wow. But Israel is going to need sons. And your ass got to be man enough to raise a son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I put those videos on Patreon. Showing y'all the little small things I do with this guy. So you know what the duty of a man is. I don't give a shit how tired you are. How wrapped up you are in life and whatever the hell's going on. You ain't no more tired than I am. You can't be. I'm going to stress the limits. That and beyond. But Israel's going to need sons. Sons that are trained by righteous men. Yes. Yes, 
Where are we at? First Corinthians? Did you not read, teach? For I am the least of the apostles. Now, y'all hold. Y'all heard Paul, what he said right at the beginning. I am the what? The least, least of the what? Of the apostles. Uh, come on. That am not meet to be called an apostle. Now, mind you, you know the reason why he's not meet to be called an apostle, right? Because he persecuted the assembly. He brought them bound. He used to seek them out, search them out. Yes, Israelites. Yes, sir. There's no way I should be. But because he's in a calling, he was never expected to receive. You remember when Yahshua said, man, look, look, Ananias, don't worry about him. I'm going to show him how great, great. things he's going to suffer for my name's sake. And I was like, man, this guy, come on, Messiah. Jesus, you don't, Yahshua, you don't know what this man is doing? Do I know, man, and I was, you're going to teach me. You're going to tell me. I don't have another vessel, not like this one. Once I reveal myself to him, oh, he done. Mm -hmm. See, but he had a religious zeal. No knowledge. But once he had the revelation, it was game over. Mm -hmm. And you seen Paul run like nobody has ever ran. So how can you call him a false apostle with your dumb ass? Because you don't understand his writings, which is in perfect teaching of the Torah. Because you read through different lenses. And I told you, the worst thing they could do is let me learn how to read, comprehend, and write. It's game over then. It's game damn over. No wonder you kept my people from reading and writing. Yeah, you needed to. Yeah. To keep the curses pronounced and profound from generation to generation. Well, game over now. Hallelujah. Game damn over. Yes. Not only are we getting our people, we getting all people yes. that are ordained yes. to eternal life and they're all coming into the kingdom Hallelujah. and to hell with your wicked ass. Hallelujah. That's how I talk. Hallelujah. Unapologetically. But let me tell y'all something about Pastor Dow, man. I hate pain just as much as y'all do. I will stomp my toe and I will cry like shit. I'm like, what the shit? This shit hurts like hell. But I promise you this. I would never, ever, ever give up this little small present suffering for eternal life. It ain't happening. My mind has already been made up. The die has been cast. The decision has been made. You hear me? Long, long time ago. So if I got to suffer so that others can live, man, I'm with it. I've already had too many great cloud of witnesses in front of me. The book says... The suffering for the present time is not worthy to be revealed. We need our mind transformed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying we need to stop thinking. We are here one breath. Yes. It could be taken any damn time. Yes. Yes. And then our eternity mm. is totally set. Oh, Jesus. Are you going to waste that? Every breath you take is on loan by Yah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh. You assume you're going to wake up in the oh, morning. Say it. Yeah, you, know say it. you assume that. Wow, wow, wow. That's what I'm saying, man. You better get the fear of Yah while oh, in your yes. heart, man. You don't take oh, nothing for granted. Oh, yes. Oh. Did I say something wrong? No, no, no. 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 Where you at, Teach? Well, I, I got to finish this, man, because I know people saying, well, we ain't late. We ain't late. We on time. Come on, Teach. But by the grace of Yah, I am what I am. So 1 Corinthians 15, 10, right? Mm -hmm. So Paul said, for by the favor of Yah, I know y'all say grace. Matter of fact, y'all don't even know what grace is. Matter of fact, most of y'all saying grace wrong. We ain't gonna we gonna detour on that. All right. So by the favor of y'all, I am what I am. Mind you, this is one that persecuted us and 
bring bought them bound. Are you following? That's what he did. I mean, Paul was tenacious. Read. And his favor, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Now, wait a minute. You hear what this man saying? And Paul was a man of little statue. All he did when he went to Rome was preach. Y'all hear me? All Paul did was preach. All Paul did was preach. preach. He went into the pantheon of gods. And he declared unto them, there is no Elohim. Y'all don't understand what in that in that day and time, it's, it's straight up off with your head. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. And not only did he do it there, but he did it by demonstration of power of the spirit. I mean, if you look at the Apostle Saul, man, he's responsible for a lot of people being filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, that was a great big old long... Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Am I just talking? Yeah. That was a great big old long time called a dark... They called them dark ages, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. What a spirit or the Ruach wouldn't even mention. Why? Because the Catholic Church had a stranglehold on religion. You couldn't read Latin. You couldn't write. You couldn't do any of them. You had to believe what the priest said. And they would often damn people's soul to an eternal hell just by a few waving of their hands and hocus pocus. Then you had a guy named Martin Luther would rise up and say, man, for hell with this shit. You're gonna be righteous, you're gonna live by faith. They 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 um put a bunch of band-aids on them and say the just. What the hell does that mean? We don't understand that kind of damn talk. But when you say the righteous, yeah, that makes all oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, righteous, they're gonna live by faith. Yeah. Oh yeah, righteous. What is righteous? Law, yeah. lawful, yes, yes. those yeah. obedient. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can't water this down no more. Oh, yeah. Thy righteousness yes. is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Give me that shit. See what I'm talking about? They in their knee deep. So we've had brother that will stand on the beauty of this scripture and never deny it and be Cast out as heretics. Mm. You think this whole damn world's supposed to be in favor of us? Oh, no. no. Hell no. Ain't nobody going to be in Why would they be in favor of us? We condemn them just by our very existence. Yes. 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 Because we live their condemned. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's another whole perspective. Come on, Seth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said, I had favor bestowed upon me, and it was not in vain. Mm, Is that right? Read on, teach. But I labored more abundantly than they all. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to say it again. I'm going I'm to tell you right now, name another man in this generation that has labored more than I have. You can get brothers that equally labored to me in this section. Y'all heard what I said, right? You can't over here in the spirit. You can't over here in going and sacrifice. You can't over here in when I said, uh, <clears throat> I don't give a damn. I'm in Tampa, Jacksonville, Atlanta, Kennesaw, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, Indiana, I don't care what else, uh, Virginia. I come to you declaring the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And when I say that, you better be sure. 
you're getting ready to see the kingdom of heaven. Oh, yeah, 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 and still, I marvel at all the people. Teach you ain't seen it over here. How these people just go away? They were sent. Matter of fact, in the day they say, Man, we see a notable miracle. How can we deny this? Man, these people go mind numb. They so caught up in this damn world, they don't even think about y'all. And you think I'm making this declaration on my own? Say, Listen, without him, I can do nothing. I know who I believe in. I don't give a damn if you don't know him or not. I know who I believe in. I know who's doing the miracles, the signs, and the I told y'all, I've taught y'all, it's all about access. Yes, sir. You have to yield. And give him the access. Yes. And he'd be more than perfectly able and willing to do his will. Yes. And like I said earlier, you think the blessings of Yah is what you gain in monetary, but oh. you'll never count the real true blessings. Oh. Yes. Man. Yes. Yes. You should be thinking the yes. father, your ass ain't going to bat shit crazy. Yes. You got a soundness of mind. Oh. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. And people wonder how we how we get these broadcasts like this every six days. I can talk like this and, and say Shabbat Shalom, Israel. We'll see y'all next week. Yeah. And we be good. Yes. We be fed. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come on, teach. We gotta finish this. Come on. And I, I left off. Uh, teach did. I labored more than abundantly. I literally in this in this vineyard, this vineyard, and I just said something else. Totally, you gotta go get the understanding of side when I said I've labored in this vineyard. Come on, yeah, nah, nah. that's what he said, and that's what I said again. <laughs> Everything we do, all of us, especially me, is all about the power and the spirit. Of the most yes, high. But hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm unapologetically. I'm going to get in your face when you think you something. And you ain't shit. That damn vocab alone, he think he shit. He ain't shit. I'm a, I'm a street apologetic. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> That's what the hell you are. You're a piece of shit. I wouldn't even use toilet paper to wipe my ass with your ass. It'd be that damn slick. Come on, man. Read on. <laughs> but the favor of Yah, which was with me. Read. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach. And we so what? And so you believe. You hear that? How many of y'all heard me? And then that, that was the start of your real that true belief. Yes, Come on, Ruth. I'm not going to do like the rest of these books. I'm going to tell you straight up. You heard this voice, but you didn't really hear me. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. You heard him. Yes, sir. That, is so true. that was the first time in your life you heard him. Yes. Oh, Are y'all listening yes, sir. to me? Yes, sir. And if, if that was the first time you hearing him. Yes. Yes, sir. Then what voice are you listening to? It ain't yes. me. Yeah, it's on. him. Yes. He's the one that's getting you by the spirit. Yes. yes. He's the one that's keeping you. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, y'all getting this? Yes, sir. There's only one. That has paid the ultimate price for all of you. And it damn so wasn't passed or down. I'm here in this with y'all. It's just that I'm the only one that has the gumption. You ever heard that word before? To open up his mouth and then speak the way he was speaking. You know, people, they read the book. Do y'all think Elijah? You ever read about Elijah before? Come on, Chef. Y'all think it was his damn soft, passive translation of what you were reading? What about 
I'm telling you, that, that, that's a bad prophet right there. Well, I mean bad in the Negro vernacular, yes. I mean good. Yes, bad in the Negro yes. vernacular, I mean yes. good. Yes. 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 Man, what prophet you don't like, Samuel? Come on. Never hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Samuel. You're like, God dang, what the heck? Samuel literally ripped the sword out of somebody and put it through a gag. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what yeah. did the most I tell you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Come on. And you people think y'all know y'all. Mm. But am I not am I not an elder worthy of double honor? Yes, you are. Yes. Do I not labor in word and doctrine? Yes, sir. And indeed. Yes, sir. Oh, bring my gift up here. So I went to North Carolina. Yeah, bring it on up here. And man, I received a gift. Bless you, Elder Britt. Man, I received a gift. Ooh, check this out. So we gotta be careful here for a second. All right, look, look, rest this up here. Okay. Uh, all right, I got this. Nice, look, look at this. I'm open this thing up. Man, how, how do I do this? Uh, okay. Look at this wonderful Ooh. gift. The best gift you can get in the world, right here. I can even smell it. <laughs> An M16 A2. Not an M4. Not an MCX. M16 A2. Look at that. Look at that. Man, it's got a SOCOM barrel with a, a, a Surefire yeah. RC2 yeah, flash hot nice. on. Yeah, Ooh, wait. Wow. Thank you, man. And then, and then look what it says right here. Man, now, can you read that? Read it loud, son. To pass it down from a friend for 30 years of dedicated service and still as a bad as Jeremiah 315 chef. Break glass in case of war. And, and that's what this brown paper is. It's a glass. I can hang this in the office when I get it done. So in case of war, we're going to break it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Thank y'all. Straightway, North Carolina. Thank you, Ranger. All of y'all down there, bro. Is that not a beautiful gift? Man, Jesus. That's a good gift right there. That's a good gift. Oh. That's one of the manly, manly man gifts right there. And I'm happy to receive it too. That's one reason I'm not. has got that so calm barrel in. I'm good now. <laughs> Shit, I can heat that thing damn up. <laughs> we rolling. I had a brother. Yep. Thank you for all from my brother. Man, you know what? I can continue to keep on going on, but we getting the night as far spent. Night as far spent. But we thank y'all for everything. All glory, all praise oh, to the most high. Oh, and again, I want y'all to hear me. I think that all that Sister Sakina could do, she was doing in a righteous format. But even in the midst of that, I still heard murmuring and I heard complaining. And I'm not even saying it's really truly coming from her. The disappointing part, teacher, is from here on this land. Yes, sir. That's what disappointed. Yes, sir. Now, let me break this damn thing down again. All that is left from the original Israelites when we moved out here, me, Mother Carol, Teacher Shane, Deacon Bell, 
Brother Rich. I said originally. You got any more? I said the original. Not one year, two year, three year. So out of all this work of the ministry, we have five. Shortly after that come Elder Doug, Sister Diane, Sister Barbara. Is that right? And who else? Sister Vicky. We're talking within a year or so. And mind you, the majority of them we knew before we even moved on the community. Is that right? Oh, oh, thank you very much. Can't forget Mama. Mama Ruth. That's six. Mama Dow was with me right there. I'm not saying, look, we got people in the grave, they going on. We're talking about the ones that are left alive. You know, that's something for my mom and my dad. You know the age I'm at now? That's when they got filled with the Holy Spirit. Ooh. At that late in life, they got filled with the Holy Spirit at that age. Praise Ain't y'all good? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't y'all good? Ain't y'all good? Oh, man. Come on. And, wow. mom, uh, and I'm going to, hey. So, Sister Johanna. Brother Patrick's wife. And then I got all these damn people going to try to tell me that Israel is only reckoned by what color your damn skin is. You full of shit. Yeah. Mm. Matter of fact, you so much full of shit, I'm going to give you one of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, Sister Johanna. Yes. Y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. She discerned what the medical profession is doing. My mom is literally almost off of every damn drug that they want to prescribe to her because of her. Hallelujah! Come on! Oh, no, no, but you couldn't get this from his black curse ass. Come on, Sister Victoria. Mm. Raunchy ghetto ass. You couldn't get it from that, right? Are you listening to me, though? Yes, sir. My mom, I, I can show you a picture. I'll, I'll find it. Where five years ago, she's in the bed, look like my mom is out. She gone. Look at my mom now. Two strokes. 84 years old. And now she can actually understand conversations. Because she's sedated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All these damn ass oh, And you people, get after 817. We're going to finish on this. And you people going to tell me what an Israelite is. Man, man, y'all better stop this bullshit. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. That's how I know. Listen, Israel, listen. I'm going to say this in all humility. I know that I am a man of y'all in this generation. Yes, sir. Yes. I know that I am leading y'all's people in the ways of righteousness. Yes, sir. But I got a team with me. They with me. Yes. They are a great cloud of witnesses. Y'all do well to follow, man, and, and, and then watch us. Yes, sir. Just watch us, man. And then mimic and do it. Yes, yes. Sir. Sir. yes. Something wrong with that man? No, no, I just no. lied some on those people. You will save yourselves decades of heartache. Hallelujah. And be wise. Raise your children in wisdom. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna say it again. Israel is gonna need sons. Yes, sir. I'm prophesying right now. Listen, yeah. Israel, Israel is gonna need sons. And what we're getting ready to go up against, we're gonna need sons. Yes, we're gonna need sons. And I want y'all to have righteous sons. Listen, if you got a damn woman that's at odds with you, want to make mild set, arrogant, every time you say left, she say right. You say up, she say down. 
You even tried to do anything to leave. She's got something of another. Oh, she got a revelation. That ain't your woman. That ain't your woman. You don't need her. Get rid of her. You know how I can say that? I can say that because how many years I've been doing this? I've been doing this all this time with just Mother Carol. I don't need no other women. I don't. What are you going to add to me and as and, and far as wisdom goes? You can't. I'm here. And I will still be here till the day I die. The only thing you can add to me is help and value to help me do y'all's work in this ministry. And you with me? Good. I'm with you. Glory to the king. You against me? Kiss my ass. The hell with you. Yes, sir. See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Man, y'all gonna be, y'all better learn not only learn to talk like it, be able to, you better learn to live yeah. like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, wait, wait. you know, somebody said the other day, they said, Mother Carol, she looked just so defeated. You ain't met Mother Carol. <laughs> That's what he said, TJ. You ain't met Mother, you ain't met Mother Carol. Uh, it, it is crazy, isn't it? Uh, but that's just an opinion. You understand what I mean? Wicked ass people trying to keep y'all from righteous. Where we at? Come on, teach. And in every province, in every city, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Udim had joy and gladness. And a feast and a good day. And many of the people of the land became Yehudim. They had a feast yep. and gladness. And, glad. and many of the people of the land became Yehudim. Yep. Oh, yep. come on. Well, the fear of the Yehudim fell upon them. Mm. Now watch this. Leave that. Let's go way over here. Salvation is of who? The Yehudim. <laughs> The Yahudims. Don't get it right. Yes, sir. So now I have in my house, I have beautiful women. You know your mom. Yeah, she's mom. You, but your mom, mom. Oh, you know your mom, beautiful woman. Of course, mom is beautiful woman. I talk to her all the time. Yeah, my mom's gorgeous. She's fifty something. She's fit, yeah. She is a good looking woman. My, my man is good looking woman. I'm glad you can say that because a lot of people are like, eh. no, mom is a good looking woman. Mom, good looking woman. Right, Summer's a good looking woman. And I'm sitting up here thinking, and then I look at my son, this guy. I promise you can tell if y'all can't tell this brother, this son, this young boy in Israel is not being steered and guided in the right way. Something wrong with y'all. Something extremely. Y'all need to go sign up on Patreon to see it. He's been steered and guided the right way. But I have beautiful. And this is the one thing, right? I'm going to end this broadcast on this. <clears throat> you ever notice out there in the world, they have all these different talk shows. The last thing I heard of maybe five years ago about this one show called Big Love. Big Love. Why don't they ever invite Pastor Dow and his family on these talk shows? And put us in the audience where you have all these disagreeable people. And ask all the questions you want. I want them to be able to hear from Mother Carol, Mama Nelly, and Sister Summer. You know the reason why I want them to? They will roast their ass. Oh, yeah. They will blister them. Left and right. They will flip the script mm. on them. Yep. Are you following me? Yep. And even if they don't flip the script, the righteous is still going to remain? Yes. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. That makes sense? They still gonna remain. Yes, sir. We here. We yes, are here. Sir. Come on. 
Anybody that's in my family, they win it. Anybody that's in any Israelite family that follows us in this regeneration, which we're following Yeshua, you win it. Uh, I keep telling y'all, brothers, listen. Y'all do not have to put up with any women that will not submit to your righteous demands. You may not have it all together. Damn, you need to grow too. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some mercy in there, man. Come on. Come on. Grow with me. Grow with yes. Don't grow Come on. against me. Trey, come here for a second. Yes, sir. Come here for a second, Trey. This brother Trey, right here, right? Say, have a seat right there. Yes, sir. No. Bro, look at brother Trey. How are you, brother Trey? 26. Uh, man, I, I was 26 for a whole year. I know y'all find it hard to believe I was 26 for a whole year. What the living hell? Don't be sitting up there looking to me, looking to any of the elders, the teachers, the deacons in this land, and expect him to be like us. We live a long ass time. Your ass ain't like the mothers of the land. So don't expect the whole package at one time and you are inadequate yourself. Grow in grace. Grow, Grow in favor. Grow, Grow in knowledge Grow. of the Most High. Yeah. Give him time. Yeah. Be there to support him. Yes. He's not supposed to be like me until his time comes. Yes. Did I say something wrong? No, no, sir. No, 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 sir. I mean, damn, I got a how old are you? 26. I got a 30-year head start on him, man. A literally 30-year head start. He's supposed to know what I know. I've been living this, I've been living this for 30 years. Yes, I ain't just talking about it, not being religious, not Donating to the Rex Humbar TBN. I said living, living. Give it time to grow in this. He will grow a hell of a lot more than he did in Christianity. Yes, sir. All I'm saying is, women, don't look at your, your men like, yo, you supposed to be like, no, they ain't supposed to be like Pastor Dodd. They're supposed to be like where they at. And you, you're supposed to submit. Where they at? Mm. How about that? Because there's no way in hell that any of y'all could be in my house. Because my ship is a hell of a lot tighter than it is. You know why? Because I'm experienced and I know how to wield the rudder. I know how to disturb the water. Mm. Bring your ass back in shape mm. without saying a word. Somebody talk to me, man. Come on, man. Everything we do in Israel is all for the favor of us. It's all for the favor of us. Anyway, oh shit. Man, we really we are a long spin. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Lord, you never taught me would have been this long on this broadcast night. But anyway, hallelujah. Israel, we love y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We had problems with our sound system, as usual. I mean, we got in there. Ooh, straight fire. Yep. That's straight fire. Hey, don't make no mistake about it. We love y'all. We literally love y'all. Y'all just got to learn what love is. What is love? Y'all need to learn literally what love is. Love ain't what people tell you what you want to hear. Love is when I love you enough to tell you the truth. Yes, sir. Yes. Philippines in the house. 
Boy, they be hot, don't they? So, Israel, we're looking forward to seeing each and every last one of y'all. Hey, y'all plan yourself to get ready for the feast days, all right? We want to see y'all here in peace. Man, you're right, Elder, Elder Rupert says, love is a verb, and a verb is an action word. Damn, you've you been out of school a long-ass time, and you remember that? <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Israel, love y'all. So, y'all please take everything y'all learn from us, man. Pay this stuff forward. And the beginning of this broadcast, man, lock that in. Lock it in and use it for your life and your son's life. I'm not diminishing daughters, but Israel was always reckoned by sons. Sons, pour into them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Pastor Dow, brothers and sisters, for backing up, Pastor. Well, hallelujah. They're really backing up. I, I, y'all always going to get this from me. What you hear from me, you're hearing from the king. It comes straight from him. Appreciate the honor. Everything that I'm preaching and teaching to you because I learned it from him. I don't have nothing on my own. I have nothing on my own. It all comes from him. It's just whoever takes the wisdom of it. So anyway, hey, Israel, see y'all tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. King is coming. I bless y'all. Sweet, precious, strong, victorious, and mighty, overcoming name of our soon coming King, Yahshua, the Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Shabbat Shalom, King coming. Make a melody in my heart to the most high. I will make a melody in my heart to the most high. I will make a melody in my heart to the most high. Be holy, for he is holy. Don Daddy, I'm killing the only in his hands. Let him mold me, Lord, in my heart, can't forget what he told me. May I forever reign, may Israel bless his name. Said there's no one like God, yeah. No, no, there's no one like God, yeah. No, no, be holy, for he is holy. Don daily, I'm killing the old me in his hands. Let him mold me, Lord, in my heart, can't forget what he told me. May I forever reign, may Israel bless that's his name, there's no one like I, uh, yeah. No, no, there's no one like I, uh, yeah. No, no, be holy, for he is holy. Don daily, I'm killing the old me in his hands. Let him mold me, Lord, in my heart. Can't forget what he told me. May I forever reign. May Israel bless his name. That is no one like I, yeah. No, no, there's no one like I, yeah. No, no. Dying daily, yeah, I'm killing this flesh. Holy Spirit, come and purge my nefesh. Like John did, I want to lie on your chest. Holy Spirit, I can feel your caress. Give it all so it's only you left. And when we see your works, we know that we're blessed. Give it all so it's only you left. Work while it stays so I can enter your rest. Be holy, for he is holy. Don daily, I'm killing the only in his hands. Let him mold me, Lord, in my heart. Can't forget what he told me. May I forever reign. May Israel bless his name. So there's no one like I, yeah. No, no, there's no one like I, yeah. No, no. Be holy, for he is holy. Dying daily, I'm killing the old me in his hands. Let him mold me, Lord, in my heart. Can't forget what he told me. May I forever reign. May Israel bless his name, said there's no one like I, yeah. no, no, there's no one like I, yeah. no, no.